there's a lot of noise and color and people in my life so we like muted colors we like things just being neutral we like them being you know tasteful but not ostentatious so the space doesn't overwhelm you hi i'm kirat hi i'm gaurav this is asian paints where the heart is welcome to our home Guys, how's it going? Come on in. The first house we lived in, it was really cute. We like, it was enough for me as one, well, and I actually renovated and built it as a house for one. Yes. Uh, which means there were not too many cupboards, and that's a problem for Kira. So when she came in, she took my cupboards. But he was homely and he was cozy and he was a lot more colorful than this space. This space is more sparse because now we've. try to keep both our sensibilities well mostly mine but his has also been incorporated in pretending it. but we're pretending that it's both sensible <laughs> but in terms of space just the idea and which is why our home also you see there's a lot of open space like we don't like clutter we don't like jamming too many things into uh you know space and that's quite a quite a mumbai thing people in mumbai like doing that you know you you use space uh but we always wanted to have it a little sort of just open, open. and plants and some green ridges to be able to see greenery in bombay so we spent a lot of time on getting the right plants for the house she wanted a lot of plants a lot of green around and i like a lot of sort of natural light uh, so i think we just we walked in and agreed on it uh, pretty much instantly He actually is very minimal. He doesn't like too many accessories and accents, and so I've tried to keep the sensibility in such a way where the minimal and then the little accents are just to add, like that you know, add little soul to the house essentially. Where Gaurav is sitting, there's only spot that he actually sits on. Sometimes he sits here and stares. I don't even know what he's staring at, but he's here. It's my chair. This It's is my little happy chair. spot in the world. Because I once asked him if we could change the color just a bit, and he had a flip out. I had a semi-violent like reaction. Like he had a really violent reaction. Like no, I will not let go of my chair. The one thing I really like collecting is uh, refrigerator magnets. Ah, oh, from our travels. Yeah, yeah I love, have. love those. So if you see, in fact, our fridge is full now. We have pictures of our travels pretty much all over the house. These are from Ghana. These are from Liberia, which is where I was born and where I lived. Gaurav and me discuss it every time we travel. We'd like to bring back something for the house, uh, like a memory. It doesn't have to be big. It could be a magnet. It could be a mask. It could be a rug. But yeah, bring back memories and mementos from when we travel. Okay, so this is our den, which is called so because this is where the lions relax. I just refer to it as the TV room, but yes. So unimaginative. He spends a lot of time, like if he takes the day off and. He wants to work, then he works out of here, and I basically just play video games. So the interesting thing about this couch is, this is a chill couch. I I travel a fair bit, so I end up spending about day in a week, perhaps. Uh, but whatever time I get to spend at home, uh, there's uh, one thing I love doing, which is vegetating in front of the television. And that's a bookshelf that looks like it's going to cave really soon with the weight yeah. of unfinished and unread books. You can actually tell Gaurav's all the autobiographies and yeah. cricket and football and mine are the sci-fi and books on consciousness yeah. and spirituality. So this is the master bedroom. Uh it was actually two rooms and we decided we wanted a little space because one of the reasons that we moved was we wanted more wardrobe space. The four poster bed is something I've always wanted and so this is actually the first thing I bought. And the only problem is Gaurav doesn't fit on it. And now he has to sleep in fetal position, but I like the bed so it stays. On the other side, this couch is one of my favorite spots. So I sit here, I read, I chill. Gaurav sometimes comes, sits on his laptop, he gets ready here like if he has to wear shoes. And at night it's beautiful because You can see the city lights with this boat so the Bogan Villa is in the forefront and it's really bright and pink and at the back you have all the lights of Bombay so it's amazing. This 
I made. This is my walking, like, well, just for my shoes. It's not really a walking closet, and it's amazing. Gaurav, on the other hand, has got a bit shafted because he only gets half a cupboard, and as you can see, his shoes are stacked. But I mean, it's fine. But yeah, so that's Gaurav's side. I think different places have different uh, moods. Yeah. Like, I love sunset on the balcony. That's favorite spot for sunset. So, a chai um, in the evening there and just sort of, it's very calm. You can hear some birds. I was always fascinated by Bombay. So, the first opportunity I got, I pretty much took, it was on a one-way ticket. He works really, really hard. And ever since we've moved in here, he's like, the only thing I look forward to is coming back home, which actually I think is amazing because that yeah. means obviously you're getting some that's the only respite you're getting from like you know just yeah. the drudgery of your day-to-day -day life i think the soul of any home is the people that inhabit it essentially is what you bring to the house and your energy and your aspirations and it's the people that inhabit it okay so some of you have questions for us These are very tricky questions no this one's not <laughs> keerat is scared of Mice and rats, like any human being would be. Not all. Only Sometimes. if they're in my space. Okay. Why are you looking at my questions? Uh, Dash is where Gaurav's heart is. Kitchen. You come out anytime, he's concocting and he eats some really gross stuff. So he's always there trying to come up with like something weirder than the last time he Innovation, innovation. Innovation. Like innovation is key. Kirat always remembers. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> No. At all. Yeah, it's true. I remember nothing. Gaurav always forgets, like nothing. That's the answer the to this is also nothing. nothing. I remember nothing, and he forgets nothing. Like it's a good deal. Like it's a good deal. Balance. Yeah. Okay, this one is a very simple one. Dash is where Kirat's heart is home. Simple. You know, turning it from a house to a home. That's a, that's an art, a skill, a science. It's a lot of things put together, and she's got that back. So that's an easy one. That was an easy one for me to answer. Thank you.